I think we are seeing a shift in the traditional role of the modern day fullback. In previous years, teams had success by having incredibly attacking oriented left back and right backs who would join the attack and create mismatch opportunities on the flanks. But based on Pep's comments after Manchester City won the Champions League final, and what I saw from teams like Arsenal, Newcastle, and Barcelona, I think we are seeing a tactical shift where managers are now having only one fullback be attacking oriented in order to provide more cover for counter-attack opportunities. Now in this video I'm going to explore, is this a tactical shift that other managers are going to pick up and we're going to see almost as the new meta, or is it just a question of the players that were available to these managers, hence inspiring this tactical shift. Using center backs at fullback is by no means a new tactical approach, teams have been doing it for years. But in this modern time where before teams were so successful with two attacking oriented fullbacks, I was curious what caused this tactical shift. And it was really Pep Guardiola's comments after Manchester City won the Champions League final that got me thinking. When he was asked what factors credited his City team now getting over the hump compared to other City teams that he managed, he talked about the fact that they were better at defending in 1v1 situations and in the box. And he credits that to the fact that he made this shift to having four center backs be the entire back four. I mean, Manchester City's best back line ended up being John Stones, Ruben Diaz, Akanji, and Nathan Ake at left back. That's what really got them to be defensively solid. And as you can see, finally got them over the hump. Before they had Kyle Walker and Jao Cancelo, incredible players, but Pep ended up getting rid of Jao Cancelo. Now that was more of an attitude issue, but the fact is prior to that, Jao Cancelo was no longer playing when at one point he was one of the best fullbacks in the world. I also think Pep is doubling down on this tactical shift just based on the fact that they're going for Gordio in the transfer market. Another player who is a center back, but he's incredibly quick, very good on the ball, has the skill set required to be a center back slash fullback in Pep's new system of a back four. And Pep deserves a lot of credit for developing these players into what they are. When Nathan Ake was on Bournemouth, I don't think anybody anticipated him to be this good. When Akanji was on Borussia Dortmund, he was seen as a bit of a defensive liability. When last season, he was one of the best defenders in Europe, and it looked like one of the best signings of the year. John Stones was seen as an overrated English tax player, and Pep had him playing as an inverted right back, and even as a center back who pushes into midfield in a double pivot next to Rodri to help play out of the back. Pep is one of those managers that can get the most out of his players. I'm not sure if you would see the same success in this style of play from those players under a different kind of manager. Arsenal had a lot of success this season using this tactical approach of the center back at the fullback role. Ben White played right back all season when he's a center back, but it worked because he's so good with his feet and he's an excellent one-on-one -on -one defender. What ended up happening is that allows Zinchenko to be much more attacking oriented. He can play that inverted role, come into midfield, help with the possession out of the back because Arteta and Arsenal know that if they do lose possession or they do lose the ball higher up in the pitch, they do have three excellent defenders back there to stop the counterattack. Ben White is a great defender. Gabriel is a great defender. Saliba is an excellent defender. And having those three guys there allowed him to have that layer of protection in case things do go wrong. And it allows him to be much more risk oriented and take higher risks when playing out of the back, which in turn should help them from an attacking perspective. But again, for someone to be successful in this role, they have to be like Ben White. Ben White is good enough with the ball at his feet that if they do have to build possession out the back from the right side, there's no issues. He won't get stuck on the ball. And Ben White can usually do a very good job of shutting down the opposition's left winger. Barcelona also had a lot of success this season using this tactical approach. Koundé is a center back. He was signed from Sevilla. He probably thought to play center back, but Xavi played him right back all season and he was very good in that role. Barcelona is again another team that had a stellar defensive record in the top five leagues all season. And it's because Koundé has the same qualities that Arteta probably saw in Ben White and what allows the modern day center back to be able to play and be successful in the fullback role. And that's Koundé is great on the ball. So if they do have to play out the right side, playing out from the back, there's no issues with that. He won't get stuck on it. And he's an excellent one-on-one -on -one defender, super fast, able to cover ground quickly, and he's not going to get beat easily. And that allows him to have a lot of success. And more importantly, it allows them to have defensive solidity to let Balde have the freedom to push forward. And that's what they did. Balde, incredibly good, practically a winger at times with how much he pushed forward. But it also means that Barcelona can be more risk-oriented in their possession out of the back and not be as concerned with losing the ball higher up the pitch because the three guys that are back there, Koundé, Araujo, and Christensen can defend the counterattack. And that's what gave them that defensive solidity. 
Pep Guardiola actually used a similar approach in Barcelona during the peak years in 2011, where Danny Alves was the modern-day fullback, the guy that pushed all the way up, create mismatches, be really good on the ball, and essentially act as another winger. And Eric Abidal provided more of the defensive solidity, somebody back there to stop counterattacks from coming. So as I said before, this isn't a new strategy, but it, it was interesting to me that even Barcelona and Xavi used this to their best advantage, and Barcelona had one of the best defensive records in Europe. Last team I want to talk about is Newcastle. They also use this tactical shift of using a center back at fullback, and they did it with Dan Byrne, a six foot seven center back who does not fit the criteria at all of what I described to you guys earlier in the video about the qualities that Ben White had, that Kunde had. Dan Byrne is not very agile. He's not the best one on one defender. He's not that great on the ball, but it worked because Newcastle had a top five defense in Europe. For the majority of the season, they had an incredible defensive record. Having Dan Byrne there next to Cher and Bodman gave them defensive solidity against counterattacks, and it allowed Kieran Trippi to go more forward. Now, I personally think they were using this tactical shift because those were just the players at Eddie Howe's disposal. I think they're going to want to get a left back, hence why they've been linked with Tierney for so long. But whatever it did, similar to what Arsenal did, similar to what Barcelona did, and similar to what Manchester City did, it worked. The center back and fullback worked defensively, and it helped Newcastle win a lot of games this season. 